Hey everybody, this is Hurricane Kazama, and I just finished playing the demo for Gravity Rush 2. Now, Gravity Rush 2 is a first party title for the PlayStation 4. It's coming out January 20th, and I went into this demo with no biases since I did not play the first Gravity Rush, and I was pretty blown away by it. I was really impressed. Now, Gravity Rush um, is about a character named Kat, who is, and I cannot make this up, a gravity princess. And the demo is pretty straightforward. They uh, start you off with the tutorial mode, where they show you all the basic mechanics for the game. And once you demonstrate that you can perform each mechanic, you move on to a mission. In the mission, Kat has to track down a stolen cargo shipment. And when she finds the stolen cargo, she's ambushed by a bunch of minions. And of course, she uses her newly learned techniques to take them out. And then she is um, then confronted by a mini boss character who she takes out. So, pretty straightforward. Things I liked about the demo. One, I really liked the art style of the game. It's a very stylized game. It's cell shaded. It has a comic book feel. It was a very, very beautiful, beautiful game. Two, I really, really enjoyed the, the mechanics of the game. The, the basic gravity mechanics where she can hover, she can glide through the air, she can, she can stop mid-glide and hover, or she can drop to the ground and she can hover before she hits the ground. Um, the, the controls are very intuitive. You really feel like you're in control of the character. And the fight mechanics are also really cool. She can do combinations while she's on the ground, or she can make objects around her hover, and she can launch the hovering objects at her enemies. She can hover, and she can do gravity kicks, which are kind of like torpedo attacks or like homing missile attacks, but it's a, it's a kick instead of a actual missile. She, and if she does enough of these gravity kicks, she can unlock a special attack where she can attack consecutive targets. As for um, the story, because I am a fan of uh, narrative-driven games, it's really hard to tell. Um, the dialogue seemed very lighthearted, which alludes to the fact that, you know, it's a very lighthearted story which may or may not be a good thing. I kind of have to play the game to work that out, but it was, uh, it definitely gave a very lighthearted feel. Now, as far as things that I didn't like, I couldn't really find much wrong with, with it. If I, if I wanted to put on my, my social justice warrior hat for a second, I would say maybe the, the way that the female characters are, are, um, are drawn was kind of a, uh, male gazy, but only a little bit, and nothing, like, I, I've definitely seen a lot worse in 2016 games, Final Fantasy 15, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that, um, but yeah, um, if you haven't played the first Gravity Rush, if you're like me, then go play it. Um, if you have been a longtime subscriber of PlayStation Plus, you probably already have it saved and you don't even know it. I know I did. And that's about it. Go play it.